But some Moggies are trying their best to communicate with people. This fella's lost his key and can't get in the house. What? Judging by the slurring, he must have been to the pub. The owner of this purse has asked if it's happy to be filmed. I'll take that as a no then. And here comes another chatty cat. Hello. 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 Hi. Yes, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, bye then. And it's not just their language skills they're keen to show off. Some Moggies have even more outstanding talents. I think sometimes when we see cats doing things that we do, it makes us go, oh, because they're doing human things. The thing is, they're not doing human actions. They're doing things they shouldn't be doing, which means that they are learning and growing and assimilating. They're just going to destroy us all. Our cat masters. Once they learn to use guns, we're, we may as well just give up. Well, thankfully, they haven't learned to use guns yet, but they have learned plenty of other things. Sit. Up. Down. Down. Roll over. Roll over. Very impressive. There you go. The owner of this cat has spent years teaching his pet how to play Jenga. Yay! Good job. Well, it's my turn. Now you pick one. <laughs> right. I'm getting pretty good at this. But like all modern moggies, he'd rather be on his PlayStation. <laughs> It was a sort of a, a, an intermediate Jenga player at best, I would say. I mean, you removed the block, yes, impressive. But please, put it back on top of the Jenga pile or it simply doesn't count. This kitty is a keen footballer. And they're even having it large on the decks. <laughs> Although the younger generation of Catboy Slims need a bit more practice. And here's another musical moggy who's something of a meowstro. Oh, I'm sorry. Yup, this kitten on the keys is Nora, whose prowess on the piano has not only earned her six million views on YouTube and celebrity fans, but even a place in musical history. No, really. Nora's owner is Betsy Alexander, a piano teacher. And yes, she is from the US of America, but no, she's not daft enough to try to teach piano to a cat. Cats learn by copying behavior. We were upstairs, we heard these repeated notes down here. We came down the stairs and there's Nora seated on the bench. Perfect posture, hands on the keys. From that day on, she just played every day. Betsy had never even heard of YouTube when her students encouraged her to video Nora and share her moggy melodies with the rest of us. But when the clip went viral, Betsy found she had a world-famous pianist in her cat basket. One who even caught the eye of a classical composer 4,000 miles away in Lithuania. Mindogus Pichaitis. We'll call him Mindy for short. I was so surprised you know, that it's not just, just one tone or two, but there was lots of tones you know, and some kind of melodies. In fact, Mindy was so impressed with Nora that he decided to compose an entire <clears throat> cat based on the video. 
I decided to write down every note she played to find out how can be created some lines, some melodies, some, some kind of musical piece. Cacerto had its world premiere in 2009 with Nora, well, a video of Nora, centre stage. And for a piece of contemporary classical music featuring a cat playing the piano on video, this ain't too bad at all. The audience certainly liked it, and the Cacerto has even made it into the Guinness Book of Records, a record I figure isn't going to be broken anytime soon. Now, from copycat to glamopus, our feline friends have taken over the English language. But we're now going to find out just why one of the best-known cat-related phrases came into existence. I think scaredy cat comes from two things. One is the initial startle position that, that cats adopt when they're surprised. And then the fact that they run. And here are some real-life scaredy cats. <laughs> they're freaking out about everything from flip-flops... To balloons. <laughs> to printers. Metronomes. and even their own kittens. But if there's one thing that gives these scaredy cats sleepless nights, it's the dun dun dun. Toaster? Really? A toaster? Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, very funny. The cat's surprised. It doesn't know the toast's coming out and then it gets scared. Hilarious, right? No, wrong. The cat knows exactly what's happening. Oh, my God. And as for that backflip stuff, well rehearsed. 